Hello everyone. Let's get on with this question of XAD 2018. If mod of x minus 1 times mod of y plus 3 lies between 2 and 5 and both x and y are negative integers, then find the number of possible combinations of x and y. Well, before starting with the question, let's first write down the constraints that are given to us. Both x and y are negative integers. Also, let's think about what is the minimum possible value of mod of x minus 1 and minimum possible value of mod of y plus 3. You would recall mod of x minus 1 implies the distance of a point x from 1 on the number line and mod of y plus 3 implies the distance of a point y from minus 3 on the number line. To represent it graphically, all the negative numbers are at least 2 units away from 1 on the number line. That means mod of x minus 1 is at least 2 units and minus 3 is in fact one of the negative numbers. Therefore, y if it is at minus 3 then mod of y plus 3 will be 0 and it can be anything from 0, 1, 2 and so on up to infinity. So mod of y plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Having that information, let's think about mod of x minus 1 times mod of y plus 3. We know that this product lies between 2 and 5. And because x and y are negative integers, mod of x minus 1 and mod of y plus 3 will also be integers. Which means that this product can have only 4 different values. 2, 3, 4 or 5. Now, if 2 is this product, it can either be 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. If this product is 3, then it can either be 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. For 4, it can be 1 times 4, 2 times 2, 4 times 1. And for 5, it can be either 1 times 5 or 5 times 1. However, we already knew that mod of x minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 2, which means we can eliminate this case, this case, this case and this case. So we are left with only these cases. Now we will just have to quickly manually check in all these cases what are the possible values of x and y and if they follow the initial condition of both being negative integers or not. So let's quickly do that check. For x minus 1 to be 2, x must be minus 1. For y plus 3 to be 1, x can be either minus 2 or minus 4. So two cases here. For mod of x minus 1 to be 3, x must be minus 2. For mod of y plus 3 to be 1, y can be either minus 2 or minus 4. So again, two cases here. Again, for mod of x minus 1 to be 2, x must be minus 1 and for mod of y plus 3 to be 2, y could be either minus 5 or minus 1. For mod of x minus 1 to be 4, x must be minus 3 and for mod of y plus 3 to be 1, y must be either minus 2 or minus 4. Again, for mod of x minus 1 to be 5, x must be minus 4. For mod of y plus 3 to be 1, y must be either minus 2 or minus 4. So here we got 4 cases and here we got another 2 cases. That's a total of 10 different cases which is anyhow the highest possible value among the answer options and also the correct answer option. I hope you could follow the solution very clearly and if you have any doubt, you can definitely let us know in the comments box so that we can help you out with that as well. Thank you.